only thing I was told when I went into the hospital because I was thin was, oh, somebody like you, you'll be able to wear your street clothes home from the hospital. Okay, you cannot wear your street clothes home. Nobody after a two day stay in the hospital is ready to wear their street clothes home. Now, I don't know, maybe if you're 14 and having a baby, but the normal people, you cannot, there is no way you're going home in your blue jeans. And for lots of reasons, blue jeans are just not comfortable. I mean, you've just, you know, given birth through the birth canal and you'll never get that button done up. You'll never get that button done up. And no matter how thin you could go back to being, you're, you're not that person for several months to come. That requires months and months of breastfeeding, exercising, and good luck. Now, the final thing. Oh, yes, 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 the final thing. Right. Your hospital suitcase. So for, you know, particularly the first time you have a baby, you spend, I had my suitcase packed to go to the hospital, and, and I had my little picture that I was going to focus on, and I had my music. And I had this whole image in my head based on the classes, the birthing classes that I'm, you know, this was going to be a really serene experience. Okay. So the first time I gave birth, I was home alone and I felt that first labor pain. But I had some errands to do, so I went to do them. And I'm standing in line at the bank and I, I feel like my body temperature go up. I feel really hot and I go, ooh, that's weird. But then I keep doing what I'm doing go to do my next errand, it happens again. I say to the woman in the store, feel my face, I think I'm hot. She goes, oh yeah, you're hot. So I go home and I call my husband on his phone and it's the only day for the past week he left the cell phone at home. So I'm lying on the bed trying to stay calm and their the pains are pretty far apart so I'm not panicking. And then they start to come a little faster. So I call my doctor, she says, come to the hospital. I say, how? <laughs> no one's there to take me. I don't know if I can drive. I call my cousin. She's a nurse and she's off duty. She comes to pick me up. And on the way there, I feel that the pains are getting worse. But um, we get to the hospital and I still don't realize what I'm in for. And I say to her, drop me at the door of emergency. I'll take it from here. She, of course, having had children, is laughing her head off and says, I'll park the car. I'll be in in a minute. By the time I get seen in the maternity ward, I'm, I'm in pain, because the first time you just don't know what's about to happen to you. I'm in pain. Okay, so I have my suitcase. Back to the suitcase. When it all happened, it happened so quickly, I didn't have time for music. I didn't have time to look at a picture. I don't even remember having time to breathe. In my case, it came so quickly, I had time to push. That's it. I never opened the suitcase. My second baby, I gave birth wearing my maternity dress that I borrowed from somebody and they didn't want it back afterwards, surprisingly enough. It, it happens quickly. I had time to grab my husband's arm, leave him bruised for life and deliver a baby. You don't need the stuff in your suitcase. And those I think, I have to think about it. No, those are the main things that people never tell you about giving birth that you really need to know.